now you gotta get it back. And the way to get it back is to go back to the beginning. You know what I mean? Let's talk about what a night differential pay is. Night pay is a percent differential paid to an employee for a regularly scheduled work performed at night. The post office is between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. It's computed as a percentage of the employee's rate of basic pay. Follow me, and I'll explain this a little more. If you make $10 an hour regularly, okay, and you work an eight hour shift, those eight hour shifts between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., okay, your eight hour shift between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., eight hours, 10 times eight, is what eighty dollars okay this is your regular pay rate regular all right let's say you got a ten percent differential rate that equals one dollar that would make you either okay we'll stick that 80 up here in the corner now if your ten percent of your $10 an hour equals $1. It can either be $11 an hour, right? Your $11 an hour times those eight hours equals what? $88, right? For the day. That would be your $88 for the day. So that $1 an hour more gave you eight more dollars, right? That's not how they put it on your check though. They separate. They'll say you worked eight hours of N, eight hours of N, that N means night differential, and your night differential just happens to be that one dollar. So that would be eight times one dollar equals eight dollars. Eight dollars. What happens when you add and your regular pay rate, again, this is your night, and your regular pay rate, you worked eight hours times $10 an hour equals 80 bucks. What does that come out to? $88. That's $88 if you got paid $11 an hour? That's $88 if you got your night differential. It's just how it's put on there. Someone said that they should just give you a higher pay rate. It would be worth it. They did. It's the same exact thing. Maybe you needed to see it a little clearer to understand it. This is not to make fun of anybody, but people don't necessarily understand the concept of night differential pay. So let's break it down even further further shall we sure let's do some math here okay suppose you make 40 hours times your ten dollar an hour pay rate 40 times your 10 that equals four hundred dollars that's what shows up as your regular pay rate for the week let's say those 40 hours half of them were worked at night so you had 20 hours that you were actually working during the evening you had 20 hours at your night differential pay rate, $1 an hour more. That equals 20. So for the week, you got $420. Let's say all of your hours were nighttime hours. Let's just say you work only the night shift. Here goes, it's a little crazy. 40 of your hours times that $1 an hour 
equals 40. You made $440. That's for the week. Now here goes the shits and giggles. Suppose you made, instead of your $10 an hour, you made $11 an hour instead. 4D times 11 equals what? You're right, 440. It's the same exact thing if you got paid at a higher rate. That night differential pay is just paid differently. They categorize each item. They itemize everything on your paycheck. So if you were confused, let's hope you're not confused anymore. All right, if you look at your checks for whatever reason, there's a section on the top that says pay location. This is where you are assigned, your work assignment, where you work. The finance number is for your specific office. The pay period for this earning statement, the first two digits and the year of the payment, the second two digits. We have 26 pay periods. 26, because we get paid bi-weekly, 52 weeks in a year, 52 to by, by 2, 26, y'all got that cool. Your detailed earning, general earning, several entries where you get the type and number of hours being compensated for, the week in which those hours occurred and the rate scheduled and the level. WK specifies the week, either one or two, of the pay period which the hours will work. RSC, rate schedule code for the hours stated. This code will be the same on your time card. LEV, this grade level for the hours stated, your pay rate, the base pay rate, annually or hourly, including the cost of living allowance for the hours stated. Code, your employee's designation activity code for regular carry, the code would be 134 for PTF, code would be 434, blah, blah, blah. G, guaranteed time or guaranteed overtime hours. H, holiday work hours. L, leave hours. N, night differential hours. Hours work between the nighttime, 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Overtime hours is a O. V time is penalty overtime hours. P, out of schedule premium. S, Sunday premium. W, your W is your straight work hours. Hours of space will show the actual work hours. Pay, this pay, this space will show the total gross pay. Gross to net. This is the general heading for two columns. It'll show the total gross pay, all deductions, blah, blah, blah. This is all self-explanatory. All those codes is what you guys wanted to know. The first ones that I explained to you are probably what you guys get confused with. So I'm hoping that this little video explains how to read your checks. Definitely this nighttime differential thing. All right. J.H.